Rain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to take care of your SSD. This is the main common problem that most of the computer users or laptop users um, are with an SSD as the main drive is facing. So what I'm saying is that if you're if you are using an SSD as your main hard drive and you're using it for some time, probably a year or more, and you always you will not always um, find yourself checking every now and then whether your um, SSD is still worth it, I mean worthy, or its health is still good because there is no way for you to do that unless it just happens to crash in front of you and then suddenly your laptop or your computer will start, I mean stop working. Okay, so for that, I'm going to present you with something that can help you with monitoring the health of your SSD. But first, you will need to know what is the brand of your SSD. There are different kinds of brand of SSD around there in the market. So, in order for you to know that, without opening the casing of your computer or your laptop, here's how you're going to do it. First is you run the device manager so once you have the device manager running you're gonna go to the disk drives and look for um, something like Kingston Samsung or SanDisk those three are the major brands that I see more, I mean, most often. Okay, so we have something in here, the audio USB, ASMT, and these are not your SSD. So, um, the Kingston here is likely your SSD. Okay, so you have this Kingston here. Now that you know the brand of your SSD, now you can go ahead and Google that Kingston um, website. So here, let's just click the Kingston technology and go ahead and search for SSD manager. So here was the last search that we did earlier and I'm going to just click it. And here it will present you with a download page or link. Click that and it will tell you whether you want to download, download it for um, the latest drives or for legacy drives. So you might want to download the latest drive. So I already downloaded that and I'm just going to go ahead and install it so here I'm going to run the installer that I have just downloaded and click the accept After that, you can just launch the Kingston SSD Manager. Okay, so there you go. You can now see the health of your SSD as indicated in here. SSD wear indicator 88%. Or you can go ahead and click the Health tab, which will present you with more details. 
So here you can actually click the refresh data. And these rows here will tell you about the health of your SSD. For example, the uncorrectable errors, we have 100%, meaning we don't have any uncorrectable errors for our SSD. And if you go down a bit, you can see the temperature or current temp for your SSD, which is 34 um, degrees Celsius. So if your SSD is within this range, it is still okay. But beyond that, 34, maybe it's an um, um, ongoing sign of um, a failure, an imminent failure that you cannot change. So this is also a good indicator of, an, a health, of the health of your SSD. Another thing that you need to check is the SSD wear indicator here. It says 88. Um, something uh, there is something about SSD that we cannot change. For example, it is always, and uh, th there is a number of write that you can uh, do with an SSD. So if it reaches that maximum write um, property or something, then your SSD will definitely fail. So if you're using a different kind of brand, for, exam for example, the Samsung brand, you just go ahead and just download the Samsung Magician software. It is also um, very similar to the Kingston SSD manager. And it will also show the health of your SSD. However, if you are using SanDisk, you can also Google for SanDisk SSD dashboard and it will also show you the health and um, some details for your um, SSD. Another thing that is good with the Kingston SSD manager is that you can upgrade the firmware of, of your SSD itself. Another thing is that you can install Acronis to back up your SSD's um, partition so that if anything happens to your SSD, you will still have a working backup. And I think this is an integrated software suite that allows you, you know, it says here to back up your entire disk, which is very good, right? Instead of having to get another SSD to clone your hard drive, your SSD, um, you can save this to, I mean, you can save your, uh, an ISO copy of your SSD to a, a separate drive. So, and I'm just going to create a separate video for using the Acronis backup for our SSD Kingston, I mean, Kingston SSD manager. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you do find this video useful, please like and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.